Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. In this video, is gonna, this is mainly for a plasma cutter. It's not going to affect most laser people. Plasma cutters have trouble with nodes. Because the plasma cutter is a hot torch that's burning from node to node to node. And this guy has 609 nodes in an object that's only 18 inches by 17 inches. So what I would do... Let's change our, our nudge distance on 18. Let's control D and make a duplicate of this guy. Let's take this one and take the and select all the nodes and then go right here to the slide bar and let's type in 20. 20 has always been a good number that worked for me. We've reduced the nodes almost in thirds. Now let's turn this one black and let's put it back over and you can see we haven't changed but very little the contour or the, the shape of our item. I would keep that copy over the side and then I would manually remove some nodes. Just There's nodes you just don't need. Uh, there's a node right there that is not needed. I mean, it's a hole. You know, this is going to be so minute in a plasma cutter, you'd really have to question that, whether that's needed. I mean, that's going to burn a hole much bigger than you probably think. This one could probably get by, because that could work. This is going to work. But then you see nodes, and you're going to have to go over this whole drawing. There's a node right there that is on two tops of two nodes, and it actually makes a little jig. That ain't going to be good. Take them both out. Now we changed the, the shape. So let's just take out one of them. We changed the shape with that one. Let's take out the other one. Didn't change the shape. That, I would actually take out that node and redesign my drawing to kind of fit that. You're... The nodes you do not need, the nodes that are in between two other nodes or almost on top of each other, they're not needed. There's two nodes on top of each other. Didn't really change anything. Matter of fact, it, you can make this actually a smoother cut. I'm not telling anybody how to do their plasma cutting, but I've been doing it for a good long time now. And um, Nodes are your enemy. Let's take away this one and see what happened. Didn't really change it. Change it too much, you know. There's just kind of watch it. That didn't really change it. Looks good. The the what you're going to get out of it is going to be better than what you're going to lose. That node probably not needed. That node probably needed. Nope. See the other nodes are holding in a place. These two nodes or this node didn't really change it. Nodes that are really close together. Now we've already removed most of the bad nodes that are on the text. But let's try deleting these two nodes. It changed a little bit, but just bring this handle in. Kind of get it back to where it was. You know, you could make it a little wider. And that's where you'd want to keep your other one. You pretty much need that node because that's what happens there. Same thing on this R as we had on the other problem. But this is actually easier because we're going to delete those two. Now these are out of line. Bring in an indexing line and have it snap to that one. Let's zoom in here. Let's grab our, let's make our nudge factor 0 0.001. Let's click on our node and with our shape tool and click on that one and just nudge it over. Now, this is not a line. It's got curve handles, but if we change it to a line, it's going to change the other set. So I would really look at your letters. Uh, this is probably the same case right here. So when you drew this, it went south on you. I would bring this R out to the other line and bring this R, the top of it, out to the other line. Now, there is a way to align nodes. And let's just go over that real quick. If you select this one first, hold down the shift key and select this one last, go up here to align nodes and align them vertically and it 
So if you select them in that order, it's going to bring that node over to the last one. So it's the last one selected is where you want it to go. I'm not going to take everybody's time to go over this whole thing. Uh, but, you know, that node right there probably is not needed. You can make that curve back. You know, okay. Now, if you ever see this happening, that you can't move anything because you have snap to object on, and it's trying to snap to that object, look at the difference now. You can get that curve back. Uh, I don't like this sharp point in a plasma cutter. Of course, that's personal preference. I'm going to delete that guy. I don't really like that either. What I would do in this case is round that guy off. Give the machine time to go around and not just go somewhere and stop. Everything else looks pretty good. That, that one could probably go. That one might could go. Yep. I would go around and if you have nodes that you can take away, take them away. Uh, there's no reason you have to have some of them. They're in the drawing. Let's see what happens when we delete that node. Change it too much. Now we've changed some nodes. It's still in red. This one's in black. And we haven't changed it all. I got to change my nudge factor back to, I think we did 18. Look at the difference. Very little difference. And I think the red looks better. It's a more smoother, you know, composition. You haven't changed it a great deal. You haven't changed the letters, hardly anything. Now there is another note right there, but that might be on the black copy that we, and it is. See, we already removed those bad notes. And then just leave this guy. That's one thing you'll learn with plasma cutting. It can only, you only want the one item on your page. Uh, his page is 48 by 48, which is perfect. So let's do this. Let's hit the F4 key, and it only brings up our drawing. So there's no other garbage. Let's bring this off and hit the F4. So it's not bringing up any more garbage. I'm going to hit P, put it in the center of the page. And then, of course, as a plasma cutter, you could put it wherever you wanted to start your job. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.